YouTube, what's going on? This preacher. I'm outside my house. Waiting on the uh my garbage can go ahead and get done so I can bring it back. But so yeah, so alright, so I was broke down on the side of the road for that one part, right? <clears throat> Seven in. It was $70, then they charged me another $5 for the upcharge of it, of course. So I wound up paying 500 and uh 80 bucks. Thank you, sir. I wound up paying $580 for the roadside for them to come out and put in that um that sensor. But my problem was that particular sensor, right? That sensor keep going out. That sensor only lasted a week. So there's a reason why that sensor was lasting a week. So my mechanic was like, you know, even if they put it on the computer, it's going to show that this, it needs that, that sensor, which it did. It just showed that it needed that uh, crankshaft position sensor. But it keep going out. So at first he was like, well, he can't get to me for a week. He can't get to my truck for a week, right? So then I was like, well, I'm going to go and just go get another sensor and and just ride until uh, my mechanic can can look at it right checking my mailbox so i was just gonna get another sensor and so in case i can just ride for a week until he to have time to look at it so i came back home i canceled my loads and I came back home and I was like, well, I'm just going to get that part and then use the part while I ride for a week. So if it goes out again, I will already have the part. So after that, the next morning, my mechanic called and said, hey, the person that uh, was supposed to have dropped his truck off didn't drop his truck off. Go ahead and bring me your truck. So I was like, okay, cool. That was Tuesday morning. So on Tuesday morning, that's what I did. I went and I gave him my truck on Tuesday morning and he going to take a look at it and everything. So then when he was taking a look at it, he was checking the timing and everything on it yesterday. And the timing and everything was fine on it yesterday. So the only thing else it was going to be is the, um, the crankshaft. So today he dropped the oil pan and everything and looking at the crankshaft and he said that it was one of the bearings on the crankshaft that is uh shot on it which causing the crankshaft to move which is causing me to blow those um position sensors so he has to replace the bearings in my crankshaft of my, my truck so i'm just like ah man but my rods and mains look good so i don't have to worry about replacing those all those stuff is smooth and the crankshaft itself looks real good in it as well and then i needed to replace my um oil pan gasket anyway too so while it's out i'm going ahead and get that done and replace the uh my oil pan gasket as then i needed to replace my piston jet cooler nozzles on it as well and it's easy to do when the oil pan is out just in case they break and they fall inside the oil pan so while the oil pan is out we can go ahead and get that done too so just go ahead and get a couple little maintenance stuff done now could i ride the truck how it is and just wait until it moves again or shifts again and blow another position sensor yes i could but the problem be when it goes out it calls to stall and it'll shit it shut down the engine and then this point when it goes out it shuts down the engine and then i can't start up the engine no more now if I, I can use uh starter fluid and start up the engine but then it just stall out again as soon as i hit the pedal it stalls out again so for that it don't make no sense to do it that's what it did this time right and then if i have it myself yeah i could change it out it takes about i don't know 
15 minutes to get it changed out and put another one on but then sometimes where i go i'll be on these back roads and it don't be a place where i could just pull over to the side if it goes out it's no it don't have a a shoulder so if i break down i'm breaking down in the road and now you're trying to do all this stuff in the road then you don't know what when it's going to happen and things like that so so it's easy to just go ahead and get a place now so that's what's going on now hopefully it doesn't take long to do it and then he got to see if they have the parts and everything for it so it can get done so that's what's going on now so we'll see i'll holler at y'all later